Welcome back, tubers. So we're back out on the farm today. I've just had an early urgent call. I don't know if you can hear in the background the beeping noise, but we are out here to upgrade some of this really old battery. It's been sitting here for about five or six years. There's an old solar panel on the roof that um, runs this little 12 volt pump. So we're gonna run some cables over to the battery shed over here. And we're going to run that off the power wall with a little converter. But first of all, we have to deal with another little noise happening out here. Um, I got a, a call last night saying this was beeping. Now it has got error code one, I believe. There we go, error code one, which means I think a fan has failed. Got the smaller fan running and the larger fan has stopped. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if that has either seized stuff or something's gone south with it. So let's deal with that now, see if we can fix that up while I'm out here. Oh yeah, that'll make that noise disappear. For anybody that hasn't seen this setup before and would like to know how it was built and put together and stuff, if you look up in this corner, we'll have a link to the when we did the install and stuff for this. We have got 10 kilowatt hours of storage with a 2.4 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt inverter, which is a PIP 2424HS, and that's about five years old now. And then we've got a PCM60X cranking in about 30 amps into the batteries at the moment. So we've shut it all down now. We'll get rid of that beep. We're going to clean it all out. We'll see if we can get that fan going again. We're going to install a, what have we got down here? A little converter. So we can run our, uh, what is it called? Um, the water pump. water pump. Yeah, 12 volt water pump. Um, now it's not ideal running a converter, but it is cheaper than actually replacing it with a 24 volt or whatever. Um, water pump that we've already got out here. Now the water pump has been running on a small battery here and a really broken solar panel. I believe it was run over by a truck, but it's been running like that for years, but it's time to upgrade that. So let's get this started. Closer inspection of this unit. Now this is a five year old unit. It doesn't look like there's anything nasty in there. There's no burnt PCBs. Now I'm no electrical engineer or anything. I can just go on what I can see. And it looks quite good after four years of use. Now that's continuous use. And it is a PIP 2424HS, like I said earlier. Um, I was running it at my place with these all, all these old lead batteries before it came out here to the farm. Now that just looks like a generic uh, um, brushless fan, 12 volt fan, so I should be able to replace that fairly easily. Got four screws there. I think it might be a little bit more difficult than I can admit to at this point in time to actually get out, but I can do that. And it's really easy to isolate all this. So let's add the converter up here. We'll screw that in, run some cables through the side here. Back at the other end of the cables here. We've got negative and positive. We're not hot here yet, so that's not a problem. Now we've got a couple of alligator clips that have done the job for years. And those alligator clips go up through the wall there. 12 volt little charger. Yeah, USB charger. Oh, cool. So you've got 12 volt inside the house, which is efficient. And then we've got this rat's nest, but that's fine because rat's nests actually work in some cases. So we'll cut all that off. This is some bush engineering right here. So how long has this ball been running for, this little this little 12 volt pump that runs your house? About 10 years. Yep. And that panel on the roof has been running in that condition for 10 years? That's right. Bloody yeah. hell. It shows you don't need high quality gear to 
get the job done. I mean, high quality gear helps, let's face it, but it's not the be all and end all. Well, that was run over on a, like around Normanton. Oh, wow. By a four wheel drive. Okay. So, look, it's only got to work. Now, we're going to solder all this. We'll do that later. So that's black to black. Now, where's your switch? So your red to red. Which there is it. Switch comes out of this conduit here. And there's another conduit comes down from the front of the house. There's two, two switches. Oh, okay. Well, so that'll be those two. So we should have left that connected to that and I just cut it off. That's all right, we'll do a better connection. We're going to switch in the shower so we can turn it on and off. Now we are not going to be wasting any water out here at the moment because we are on very limited supplies. You just have to trust me that that works. And we've got the second switch up in the kitchen sink so we can turn that on and off when we're doing the dishes. We've got the, the cable that comes down and shoots outside. Now I disconnected the hot water system for now because I haven't got a solution that works for that. And I also forgot all the conduit. Excellent. So we've just got a piece of conduit laying there. This is only 12 volts, so it's not a problem. And when we get some conduit, we'll put it up along the bottom of the house. Now these two little cables here, um, we're gonna put a, this is a, like a, what do you call it? Cold room stuff. We're gonna put some tape around that. And then that is 12 volt into the little switches inside the house, the little USB ports. And then we've got the power down here. And for now, because I forgot everything, we've just soldered them up and taped them all up and we'll zip tie them to underneath the house there. But we've got power inside the house. We can decommission this now. And if I jump up on the roof, I can show you this um, solar panel. That is the worst ladder in the world. Oh. Here we are topside with some really quality work. Now, I'll give you a little bit of a panning shot. We'll go over the roof. This is, this, is the, this is the sort of beauty that we're working with out here. Absolutely amazing place to live and to get to work. And if anybody saw my other videos, if you can just see down there, you can see the windmill all the way down there. And then we've got the solar panels over here. So we've got 250 watt panels, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 panels on the pit on the PCM 60X. It is overclocking it a little bit, but these trees here give an enormous amount of shade in winter. And in summertime, the sun's straight above us and being dead flat, they get so hot that they don't really work too efficiently. And they are about 10 years old. So again, still got the cables running over the roof, but it is what it is for now. And this poor little solar panel is what's been running that pump. And I didn't realize till now we covered it up. So it's actually been shaded a good eight inches, but it's still charging that battery up and running well. Look at that, big dent in it, big, big lot of damage, but it says something for the older solar panels, doesn't it? All right, coming to the end of this job, we've fixed the beeping. It was just a stuck fan, but I will order two more fans for that anyway, because we want to keep that up and running. Into the Batrium Watchmon toolkit. And just a rundown, we've got 0 0.01 of a volt spread between the cells, or maybe 0 0.2 there, I think it flickered off. So the batteries are actually going awesome, nice and balanced. How long have these been in service, you reckon? About five months. About five months. Mm. That's not bad. Now we're just going to tinker with the settings a little bit so it's not balancing so much. We're so well balanced now, we just want to, just going to save as much energy as we can because we're completely off grid out here. So let's go through and change a couple of settings. I'm just gonna move the balance current up by 0 0.1 of a volt. Now understand and accept, understand and accept. Tried doing this with one hand looking at the camera at the same time. Cell monitor, so we've got a top bypass voltage of four volts there. So we go to uh, four, so we're gonna go to four, 
0.02 of a volt. So that's a little bit more. We've got to click on save, and then we go device sync, and then we hit on start, and that it will, that didn't do it. There we go, it's running through the sync now. Had to do that twice. But what that's doing now is it's actually reprogramming all the long ones up there. So we've done that. We'll do it once more for good measure. Sometimes it doesn't take. Sometimes you've got to do it once or twice. And given that I am at least an hour's drive away, I want to make sure it's spot on. So that is done. Close that out. Go back to the chart. Go to the chart. There we go. All done. So I'm happy with that. We've worked out the issue with the PIP inverter. It is just an error code one, so it's just a fan fault. We have confirmed that the fans still do spin and work under load, but for now we've just taken everything off but critical loads, and that is the fridge and the freezer. Um, we've got one or maybe two lights on it. We've just disconnected the circuit board at the house end, because this just goes into a circuit board within the home. Uh, we're still doing charging at 20.6 amps, 780 watts. 28 volts and that's the maximum charge we have these batteries set at so it is what's the time now 10 o'clock in the morning and the battery's already fully charged so we've got the water set up there now i did drop the ball i forgot i was gonna we were gonna put a switch in here so we could actually turn this on and off a breaker i forgot all about that so for now it's just going into these two splitters and we've got a problem with one of the, the splitters there it's so we'll split there, but we've still got good continuity, so not too concerned about that, but I will actively look for a new one of them to replace that out. Anyway, Tubers, that's me signing off for now. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. I optimistically bought the Ryobi Whippersnipper out thinking that there might be grass that we had to trim. And all we got is fake grass, and that doesn't grow very much. <laughs>